Hello and thank you for joining gapsfix.com. Fix your Google Apps today. This is Goldie again and in today's lesson we will be covering how to create SPF records for your Google Apps. So what's our agenda for today? In next 5 minutes we will cover what is SPF record, why do we need that and how we create it. We will understand a bit about SPF record syntax. Then we will put some light on system requirements for SPF setup. And at last we will move towards live demonstration to set up SPF records at GoDaddy for our Google Apps domain. So SPF records, what is it, why is it and how is it? What is SPF record? SPF which stands for Sender Policy Framework which defines which particular email server or email servers are authorized to send emails on behalf of a specific domain. Why SPF records for Google Apps? Now you have switched to Google Apps and now Google email servers will be sending emails on behalf of your domain. So it becomes recommended to authorize Google servers to send emails on your domain's behalf. How do we do that? We can create SPF records by creating a TXT record at our DNS. Now, what is the syntax of SPF record? So in this particular video, we will be explaining Google Apps SPF value. However, it is recommended that you can go to openspf.org to know more about it. So in case of you uh, create SPF record for Google Apps, the value of that SPF record would be v is equal to SPF1 include spf.google.com till all. Now we will break it up a bit just to understand. So V in this whole value stands for version. So version SPF1. Include means include, include command. And spf.google.com till all stands for any server which is allowed to send mail from Google Mail Server IP addresses is also allowed to send emails from your domain for which you are going to create this SPF value. Now in case let's say if you have some internal applications or internal servers which will also be sending emails on behalf of your domain along with Google Apps then you need to customize your SPF record accordingly. So if you see the second example here it says v is equal to SPF1 IP4 then the IP range and then include spf.google.com. What are the system requirements to set up SPF records? You should have access to your DNS control panel because that's the place where we will be creating the TXT record. You should be aware of servers or IPs which will be sending emails on behalf of your domain apart from Google and five minutes to watch this video. So let us now set up SPF records at GoDaddy for our Google Apps domain. To create SPF records, I've logged into my DNS which is GoDaddy. I'll be going to my account and then I'll be going to my domains. I'll be picking up the domain on which I need to create SPF. I'm going to launch DNS Manager now. Let me click on Launch. And now I'll be creating a TXT record with the SPF value of Google Apps. I'll scroll down a bit. Here is the TXT record place. I'll click on Quick Add. Host value would be at the rate. And TXT value would be the value of our SPF which is v is equal to spf1 include spf.google.com well, you can also copy this value from google 
once you're done click on save zone file okay and okay or it might take some time in if reflecting these values which we have just created but in the meantime let us just check in case if it's quick we'll go to Google and type in SPF validator there are a few tools by which you can validate your SPF entries click on the first one and let's put our domain which is gapsfix.com and see in case if it's reflected get SPF records okay so if you see it has found our SPF record and after evaluation it also states that our this evaluation has been passed thank you so much